Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on filling etched molds with acrylic paint. Um, I've done a few videos with some other methods. Uh, this one I'm just going to use acrylic paint from the craft store. So what I'm doing here is I just un uh, demolded a couple of my castings from a mold and I have uh, water-based acrylic paint that I'm going to apply to the etched portion of the mold. Um, I'm using a silicone applicator. I find it uh, easy to use that. Um, I've also used paint brushes. This doesn't leave any um, stroke marks and it kind of helps act as like a squeegee when uh, filling in the etches. So um, that kind of helped too. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fill um, every little etched surface of the casting with the acrylic paint. Now I use water-based because if you use oil-based, um, when you go to dome this with some epoxy or UV resin, it can um, actually repel off of the oil-based. So this might um, help save you a little bit of trouble. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this is all filled and then I'm gonna let it dry. Um, this I let dry for about 20 minutes and um, then I came back to uh, go ahead and wipe off the excess on the portions that I don't want it on. So what I use is just um, a plain paper towel and I uh, use 91% rubbing alcohol on there and it's pulling off the acrylic paint um, pretty easily. Now my only suggestion is just to make sure that you only wipe on the surfaces you don't want the paint because if you start wiping on the portion where you apply the paint that you want it, it will come off too. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure that uh, this is completely dry. And what I did next was I came with my UV resin and I'm adding it on top to dome it. Doming is basically a term to um, add a layer on top of it to uh, add shine and seal in the paint. I just attached it to a, um, an epoxy measuring cup that I put upside down with some double stick tape and it makes it easier to handle. That way I'm not touching the actual casting while I'm trying to dome it or um, messing up anything that way. So I'm just spreading the UV resin on the entire surface and then I'll make sure to cure it. Um, each UV resin has different cure times, different lamps have different wattages, so just uh, look at your instructions on what you have. Now you don't have to use UV resin. Uh, sometimes I just use regular resin if I have some that I've mixed up for something else. Um, I've also used uh, fast set epoxy on there as well for a top coat. Uh, everyone kind of has their own preference, so whatever works for you. But I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, coat the top of these, and then that will also seal in all the paint and protect um, your casting, especially because these particular ones are gonna be keychains, and um, they can get a little rough uh, with keys and stuff uh, knocking on them. Okay, and then now I'm gonna go ahead and cure the UV resin on here. Um, this particular one I cured for 60 seconds and it was good to go. So uh, this is basically how I um, fill in my etched molds with acrylic paint. Um, I just got the paint from Michaels. Uh, it's the Martha Stewart brand. I'll go ahead and link my mold and any other supplies and my Etsy page in the comments below. Let me know if you guys have any questions.